Hi everyone, I would like to talk to you about who is Hispanic mothers with autistic and ADHD children in Ontario. And who is that is basically me, my family, my friends, and everyone that has been walking along with me on our shoes and has um, contributed to the raising and the support of our children. Um, Hispanic Month uh, was an idea that came to my mind in 2012. And at first, uh, the name was uh, in Spanish. It was Mother, Madres Hispanas con Hijos Autistas and ADHD Canada. And the reason why I uh, came out with this idea was because um, at the, around that time, my son Isaac uh, was denied services, IVI services um, via um, Toronto Autism Services, which at the time was called TPAS. So being so disappointed at the system and, uh, you know, this um, lack of support from government agencies, I decided to take up on myself to um, bring up some issues of some of the issues that as a family we face in our daily uh, life and I also wanted to start sharing information about research um, yeah, um, the studies that have to do with autism I wanted to raise awareness about autism in general and ADHD too and I wanted to, you know, to offer personal testimonials about our life experiences and what we have to go through uh, in the years that we've been parents of children with autism and ADHD. So it was not, um, it was not a project meant to become an organization per se. It was something that I was doing on the side to help me. Um, reflect on my own experiences and um, maybe that reflection um, I came to help somebody um, um, like me another parent like me I wanted to do it specifically focused for the Latina moms because I know for a fact that in our Hispanic community and sadly this is a reality um, the topic of disabilities is not um, talk much. There is a stigma that um, raise above um, many other things and mothers that are Latina moms um, end up um, raising children with disabilities by themselves uh, with lack of support from their partners, family members, friends and even um, their work. So as um, to honor these moms, to honor myself in a way, although I have a good support system and I can't complain about it, but my idea was always to raise above and, and bring these issues to place so the rest of the world knew that there was a problem in our community that needed to be addressed. However, through the years I have learned that my uh, work uh, and my experiences have helped parents all across Canada and I'm very happy um, and sincerely humble for that and I am inspired by um, sorry it, it gets a little bit of emotional I I was inspired by the incredible movements of parents that have been, um, you know, raising up and speaking up about the Ontario uh, province cuts to the autism program. When I when I saw these parents crying at Queens Park, watching. TV, while well, watching TV, when I um, when I had conversations with different people, um, colleagues of mine that I have met through the years in the world of social work and in my personal life, 
I felt that it was um, um, my responsibility in a part to make um, um, a little bit of, you know, the difference. And I, I was inspired to um, come up with the idea to create an organization, a not-for-profit organization that will support parents like me um, and that will give a voice to those parents and, and help them navigate the different systems, help them um, raise about their challenges, uh, help them, um, you know, know, understand that they're not alone and in this, um, you know, battle, and that there, there's, there are a lot of parents, you know, out there that are feeling the same way and that need to be listened. So as part of a minority groups, um, a Latino woman in Canada, I want to encourage our mothers from the Hispanic community to join, you know, Canadian moms to express themselves, to raise awareness about autism and the challenges that you face every day while raising your children. Not to be afraid, not to feel that, um, you know, you can uh, be listened to. You have to be listened to. As a matter of fact, it's important that your voice uh, is heard for the sake of your children. We need to stop um, being silent. We need to be united as a Latino community, and we need to do. We need to start doing things for our community, our children. Um, so I thank everyone that has contributed in a part into this dream that is about to become or take form in a bigger format. And I wanna. And I would like to say that Hispanic mothers with autistic and ADHD children. It's not only an organization um, that will represent the needs and uh, will support parents of children with autism from the Latino community, but rather it's going to be an organization that um, it will support parents in the autism community in Ontario that need to be supported. So we will not turn any family down. We will give our support and our um, um, information and to anybody that um, needs that. So our our idea doesn't focus specifically on Latinos, but also in all parents. So I want to just put that information up there for you guys to understand. So I am very happy that we're doing this, and um, and yes, it's a project coming from scratch, but with the help of God and a bigger um, force or whatever you believe, uh, and and the help of you know people that are you know already putting uh, their wonderful um, you know. Uh, skills to work, we're going to get it and we're going to make it and everything is going to be done to support you and your children so you don't feel alone, so you don't feel that you don't have a voice and the day that you don't have a friend to talk, you can come and talk to us. We're going to be a bigger network and we're going to open uh, chapters all across the province of Ontario and if everything goes well we're going to go Canada wide so let's just finger cross for that so for today I want to leave you with that and I hope that you keep supporting us and that you help me build this incredible dream that is going to be uh, it's going to do so much good for our autism community take care bye bye